Hello, this is Greg from SharePoint Maven. And in this video, I would like to demonstrate to you two ways to organize uh, news within the uh, internet, within the uh, internet hub. Uh, let me uh, provide you with the use case and then I'll explain to you what these two options are. So uh, what you see right now on the screen is um, just a, an example of a company internet. Uh, so typically you have kind of the main site, uh, a main hub site uh, in my case, and then you have other departments like HR and IT and so on. Uh, all uh, kind of connected to this hub. But here's a use case. Um, uh, you know, my uh, main site, my main internet uh, site has this uh, news web part. And what I want to do, I want, um, you know, let's pretend we have different users who are in charge of different sites. So we have maybe, uh, I don't know, marketing and communications in charge of this main internet site. So they manage the content and news and announcements here. And then we have someone else responsible uh, for the uh, you know, HR site and managing the news on the uh, HR site. And obviously that would be the case maybe with other sites like IT and so on. Uh, but uh, what I would like to do is I would like to have uh, all the news uh, kind of aggregated in one place. So no matter who is you know, posting the news, we to you know we want to post all the news uh, from different um you know sites uh, essentially on this main site so maybe uh, just to to for the purpose of this video let's pretend we have uh we want to have a, a section for news you know like general news company news and then we want to have a section maybe for it news and hr news so how do we make it happen? So that's the use case, but how do we make this happen? Well, there are actually two distinct ways of achieving so. Uh, the first option is uh, by categorizing the news uh, on the main site and creating metadata tags. And the second one is through the news uh, roll up through uh, hub functionality. So uh, what I'm going to do now is go over both of these options and uh, briefly show you how to uh, set them up uh, and uh, you will see kind of the key differences uh, between the two. So I will start with the uh, first option. Uh, the first option would be to um, essentially assign metadata tags to all uh, the news posts. And then um, based on different filters, filter out the news um, based on the category they're part of. Uh, in case you are confused, don't worry. As I set this up, uh, this will become a little bit more uh, obvious. So uh, the first step would be to navigate to, um, you know, to obviously the internet site, navigate to the site pages library. This is where all the um, you know, a news post reside because remember, a news post is just uh, pretty much uh, another page in uh, SharePoint site pages uh, library. And what we are going to do here, uh, we are going to create a column over here called category. So that's a choice column. And I'm going to um, maybe just say news category. And um, this would be the different uh, choices. So let's just say general news uh, right here, and then maybe uh, HR news, and you can have as many as you want, and maybe uh, IT news. All right, perfect. So you can obviously uh, add additional choices if need be. I'm going to click Save. So um, this is a piece of metadata now. Uh, on our, uh, um, you know, uh, news posts and news pages uh, and SharePoint pages for that matter. So let's go ahead and create some news. So here is how it works. I'm going to uh, create some news. So we are navigating to the main uh, site. And actually, you know what? Let me do this before so it all makes sense. Uh, I'm going to call this um, general news. So I want all the general news to appear in this section. And uh, over here, I'm going to add another news widget. So in order for this to work, you uh, kind of need to add another news widget. And I'm going to call this uh, HR news, uh, just like that. All right, don't worry about this. Um, uh, what you see here will we'll, uh, clean this up. 
So I want all the general news to appear here and I want all the HR news to appear in this section. So let me republish it. So let's go ahead and add some news. So it doesn't really matter where you add the news from. Uh, what's going to be very important uh, is to uh, tag it correctly. So you're going to click news, uh, news post and uh, let's just, um, you know, uh, I don't know, select some standard, uh, you know, template, doesn't really matter. And this will be general uh, news post. All right, uh, but here is the most important um, in the most important piece. We need to tag it correctly. So under page details, we need to choose the category. You see, so I'm tagging it as general news. All right, just like that, and then I'm going to post it. Let's see what happens. So uh, first of all, let me show you what just happened. I'm going to navigate behind the scenes to the site pages library. And I just created this news post. Remember, it's a page and I tagged it accordingly. All right. But let's see what happens now um, on the main site um, when um, this happens. And look at this. The news post was posted. But let's now add another uh, announcement. We are going to add an HR announcement. Once again, it doesn't really matter. We are going to add another announcement. This time it's going to be uh maybe um somebody from hr posting this so hr announcement all right just like that all right perfect and again i'm going to um you know to assign the proper category just like that all right and i'm going to post it just like that all right uh, and again you know if we go to uh, site contents and pages you will see another post created and tagged accordingly uh, let's take a look what's going on within our uh, general news widget. Look at this. I have two announcements. But you know what? Even though this is an HR announcement, it still appears over here. So uh, this is where the most important step needs to occur. What we need to do, we need to filter this news widget to only show general news. So let me show you how to do that. You click the edit button and you click the pencil icon. And we are rolling up the news. We are just publishing them on the site. And over here under the filter section, we need to choose page properties. Remember, we have those page properties where news category is equal to. And look at this. We have all these different categories. So you see. So essentially what I'm saying within this news widget, only show me the news pages, news polls that have been tagged with general news and look at this it now shows me the correct one all right and wh while we're here let's clean this up because over here we only want hr news uh, news to show so pencil icon we just want the news from this site and once again it shows both but we're going to fix it we're going to say only show page properties where news category equals and we choose hr and just like that, you can see my uh, HR news post that has been tagged with HR goes here. My general news post goes here. And this is pretty much it. So essentially, uh, it's a two-step process, right? First, uh, well, I guess a three-step. Uh, first, you create the category, uh, the metadata category within the site pages library. Then you uh, create your news post and tag them accordingly. And the third and most important step, you add a, a news widget and then filter it accordingly. So if I want maybe to now add some IT news, again, I'm going to add another widget, another web part, and then filter it accordingly. So hopefully that makes sense. So uh, this option uh, that I just showed you where you tag the, you know, the, the news posts with different categories and then uh, filter them uh, accordingly, this is great if... Um, Maybe um, you have um, you want to maintain all the news posts on one site, and I think it also works great if you maybe have one individual in charge of news. So let's say I'm in charge of uh, the announcements on this, um, you know, on this main site. Uh, I can just I know what I'm doing. I will create the news posts, tag them accordingly, and then they will show up in the proper section. Uh, but let me uh, now explain to you a different use case and um, a different option uh, that might you might need to use. 
Uh, the other option uh, is essentially when you want different people to be responsible for different sites and different announcements. So again, a use case would be I'm in charge, let's say I'm part of marketing and communications. I'm in charge of the main uh, internet site and I want to post the announcements here. And I really don't want to give HR or IT control over the site, right? So uh, they don't uh, maybe mess it up and tag things incorrectly. I want them to keep posting announcements on their, uh, on their own sites, but then I want to roll it up roll it up uh, on my side. So here's how you do this. Here's how you do this. Um, so here's a use case. HR posted an announcement, um, welcome new employee on the HR side. And uh, I trust HR and I want uh, this announcement to show up on, uh, on my uh, main site as well. So here is how you do this. Let's edit the page and I'm going to add another web part to it, news web part, and I'm going to click on the pencil icon. Uh, now, um, this, um, I happen to have a hub site, so by default it rolls up the announcements from all the hubs, but you know what, I can say, you know what, I'm going to be pretty selective. I want to show the announcements from obviously my main internet site I'm in charge of. Uh, you see the two announcements I uh, just created. And I also trust HR, all right? So let's pretend we don't want any announcements from, um, you know, from other departments, just main one and maybe a lady from HR, um, you know, uh, an HR department owner who um, essentially uh, owns and posts the announcements uh, on their own HR site. So I just selected those sites and I click Republish. So let's see what will happen. Look at this. You see, now I have all the announcements rolled up under this news widget. So this, and it actually shows you where they came from. So you see these two announcements. Remember, I posted them on the this corporate internet itself. And then remember that announcement from HR. Here it is. And when users click on this, they actually brought uh, directly. I don't think I clicked uh, on the announcement. So. Let me click on the announcement itself. It actually brands the users directly to that site, directly to that announcement on the site. All right, and uh, they would be able to read that particular announcement. So uh, this is the second option. Uh, so hopefully you can see the difference between the two options. Uh, with the first option, um, first of all, you kind of right need to give everyone access to the main site so they can tag and you know, post the news accordingly. Uh, with the second option, each uh, use, I mean, each department can maintain their own news on their own little site, and then we can magically uh, present it and roll it up on our, uh, you know, main site. Uh, the good thing about the second option, right, you don't need to, you don't need to uh, pretty much uh, add additional news widgets. Essentially, they all show up within one news widget. It just shows you the header will kind of show the site where they came from. Uh, just like with many other things in SharePoint, uh, there is no uh, really right or wrong way to do so. These are just two very distinct options. And depending on the use case, depending on maybe uh, the uh, you know setup you have uh, with your hub sites, depending on permissions, depending on uh, who you know um, your uh, model uh, communication model, depending on how you know who maintains the news and is in charge of news, you might choose uh, one option uh, over the other. Again, you just have to consider uh, the. Uh, news publishing model the, that you have within your organization. And you also have to consider the news layout option, whether you want to have distinct uh, categories, you know, uh, like general news and HR news and maybe some other news, um, you know, taking up space on the main page, or maybe you just want to have one widget, uh, one news widget uh, with the, uh, you know, different announcements aggregated all in one. I did write uh, an article uh, some time ago uh, documenting these two options as well and pros and cons, so uh, feel free to check it out. I will make sure to include it in the description of the video. But for now, thank you very much for watching this video, and uh, as always, happy to see you on my blog, SharePointMaven.com, uh, as well as my YouTube channel. Goodbye.